You seriously never played this. You seriously never played this. Lennon. Welcome back to Final Fight, where we're gonna punch up glass. We're gonna beat the glass up. All right, take take a side. I'll take a side too. Uh -huh. Got it. Oh, that glass didn't have a chance. Yeah. Winner? What the How fuck? How did I win? I don't know. You just kind of stood there. I broke a bunch, but you just broke that whole side. That's, I, that's true. I thought that like sandwich at the end was really gonna be what did it for you. <laughs> the glass sandwich. <laughs> My favorite. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm, I do love me a glass sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to get punched by you, <laughs> and or punch you. What that means is you're not gonna kill anyone. I <laughs> haven't thrown a punch yet. Here we go. Now it's Lennon's time to shine. <laughs> oh, look at me go. Look out, it's Doug. <laughs> There's oh. a lot of people named Doug who wear that orange jumper. Also, this uh, Oriber guy and Bill Bull. Yeah. They must just. They have ha to be twins. Yeah, it, that or it's like. A, I imagine it's like a oh, George he's, Foreman he's, situation. He's Wong Hu. Wong Hu? Yeah. But Hu I, is spelled like actual, like. W H O. Yeah, the Hu. I like to imagine that the. Well, like with Bill Bull and, and all these characters. Uh -huh. um, that it's a George Foreman type situation, where he's they ha their family. They he has like nineteen brothers and sisters. Uh huh. But they're just all they're all Bill. They're all Bill. Every one of them. <laughs> I forgot that that the George Foreman. Even his daughters did that. Did he? Even his daughters are named a form of George. What is wrong with him? Yeah, <laughs> he loves himself. I guess. You know that's the only name he can actually <laughs> say. Yeah. After all the after all the brain damage from boxing, he's like. Yeah. Uh, George. George. Yeah, George. What are we going to name her, George? George. <laughs> I don't think you can do that, George. I, I also like to imagine that, like, you know how when people have kids, they sit down and they, like, write down baby names yeah. and they try to figure out what <laughs> yeah. the kids was? I like to imagine one night George oh. Foreman went to bed with yeah. his wife yeah. and was like... Honey, we need to write he down names. He was like, names. honey, let's list some names for our kids. And he pulled out, like, a, like a, a fucking... Parchment, <laughs> and it just said it was just George, it just George all over 500 again. times. <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah, I like that name. I, can, I think I, I think we that. could make this work, honey. It's but what if it's triplets, George? <laughs> Shit. Also, I, I love would, that. I, can, I want a divorce. <laughs> I love that a boombox is a pickup. Yeah. What does it do? Turn me into? Uh, you get to hear some fat beats. I was gonna say, does it turn me into? What's his name from Say Anything? <laughs> What's his I'm name? I'm so gassy. I had coffee on the way down, and for some reason, coffee makes me burp. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was sleepy. <laughs> ah! Well, you you do kind of get up pretty early to I, get Yeah, there. I had to get up at 7.30 this morning. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> I always feel bad about that. No, no. You put so much time and effort into the editing. It's True. Like that is true. For those the of only you who thing don't know, you... Ed, Lennon does everything. I do everything. The only thing Chris has to do is drive here. Yeah. But it is, like, a little over two hours. It's a little over two hours, yeah. Yeah! I had mentioned to somebody... I was in a, uh... A, uh... A speedrunning thing. Yeah. Um... Over the weekend. Is there somewhere people can watch that, or I don't like think oh, okay. so. Um, I sure. No, I'm not familiar. I, I I don't believe so. This fucking lanky weird dude with a knife. It's all anyway, right. we got him. Speed running. Uh, I mentioned we were talking about you seriously never played this for a little bit, and yeah. I mentioned that you drive two hours every week to get here, and they were just like, "What?" <laughs> like everyone I was talking to just had their minds blown yeah. that you do that. That's commitment. Yep. It's also fair to you. I suppose so. Because you put more than two hours into editing. Well, I'll tell you what. It's also... Um, oh, shit. Shit's getting rad Music in the change. bathroom. Sexy. <laughs> and then what? Swag? Yeah. G -E Swag? S-U-E-E-G. Isn't that oh, what it says? I guess. 
Swig. 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 LXD. I'm just reminded of the jaw Someone's drop. just writing a date in Roman numerals? <laughs> oh no, that's also sexy. I'm just reminded just... of the JonTron video, or the the, uh, the California games. Yeah. <laughs> Swood? <laughs> Swood? Swood? Well, at least we can say one thing about him. He was a swood guy. <laughs> but yeah, I had mentioned to him on the Discord, like, well, the way that Chris always puts it is that uh, he drives here, and I do pretty much everything else, so yeah. he, he's fine with it, so I'm fine with it as well. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the most fair. The disappointing thing, though, is that, like, we record on a Wednesday, yeah, which is, you know, fine, or whatever. But Ooh. it'd be cool if it was on a day when there was, like, a nearby open mic night. Yeah. So that we could, like, do, record do and then do, yeah. a, do a mic what, somewhere. What days are there mics down in this area? There's not a fucking mic in this area at all. Well, yeah, you live in fucking the middle of nowhere. There's yeah. an Apple museum nearby. That's what true. the?! Whoa. Look out. It's Daredevil and his clones. <laughs> it's um. George and George <laughs> and George. <laughs> Watch your back. Um, but no, I was just... I was thinking, like, is there any that are within a reasonable driving distance? No, I think Lancaster's the closest one. That's an hour and a half. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. I almost went out to that mic yeah. uh, on Monday night, and then I remembered it was Halloween, so I absolutely did not go. Because <laughs> it, it, as, as, as cool as it is to kind of experiment with a couple different things at open mics, I don't really care for, like, a theme night yeah. or anything like that. I'm the same way. I mean, it's like, I'm I'm going there to practice my actual stand-up material. I'm not going there to do five minutes on Halloween or everyone's costume in the audience. Oh, yeah. You know? It's like, well, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. If you're going to do, like, a special show for it or something like that, that's fine. Even at if that, gonna I'm not like, going to do it. <laughs> uh, I would do, like, a costume roast or something like that. You know nah. what I mean? Like a Halloween roast. I don't feel like it benefits me in any way. I think it does. I, I would uh, I would disagree. Yeah? Uh, I think it gets, gives you better, like, improvisational skills. Well, I think that's, it gets you better, that's true. I think you get better at riffing and stuff. Yeah, that, and that is a good skill like, to that's have. That's the only... Like, I'm bad at roasts, but the only thing I like about them is I go into them unprepared. Okay, yeah. And then I just, like, sometimes I'm not funny, but at least I'm better... I get better <laughs> at riffing. It's true. But at the, I would argue... It's true. Sometimes you aren't funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, thing would, one thing I... One thing I... I'm sorry. Now you're punching me in the kidneys. I'm just trying to get knives. I love knives. Uh, <laughs> I'm the mayor of knives. The one argument that I would have against that is that, um, you know, you, you say it's, you know, a good riff practice. Yeah. I would also call that every show you should do ever. Sure, but I mean, th this is a night where it's like kind of no holds barred. Like, yeah. Like, if I'm going to a themed show, I don't really care too much about not doing super well because I'm not trying to own any material yeah so i don't have to i don't have to like hold back on a riff because i'm afraid it might not be funny true i guess like i definitely agree you should be riffing often and pretty much in every set you do yeah but in the same oh hand, it's so like, it's so helpful it's a great way to kill like the top minute of a set oh for sure you know if you can but, find a bunch of stuff like that but in the in the same breath it's also um i think there's a lot more risk involved if it's like an, a, an open micro show where you're trying to hone your material. Yeah. Whereas like if you're just doing like a themed show or like a roast or something like that, you can, right. ju you can just be like, whatever, like this is just, the, I'm just, I'm just trying to make my brain sharper. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's completely understandable. By the way, while we're having this conversation. Ah, I'm, Mr. T? It's Abigail. Oh, it's Ultimate Warrior, but without his hair. <laughs> I, uh, while we're having this conversation, I just imagine our characters having this conversation. Oh, yeah. While they're fighting While just casually <laughs> beating up people. Like, I don't know about, you know, I mean, it improves your riffing skills and all. Punch! Punch! Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Shit. Wow. Itch. Abigail hits like a fucking truck. Oh, I thought you had him in a loop or something. I thought I did too. Fuck me. I would love to see a speed run of this game, and how it yeah, worked. Yeah, right. If I I don't remember what game it was, but there was a beat 'em up like this Streets when I went rage? to yeah something like this when I went to uh, a GDQ back oh, yeah. last year in January. So this might be the final stage. Oh yeah. Either way, I I think we're gonna make this like one pretty decently long video. Yeah. 
Just so it doesn't come out like that there's one, like, five-minute episode or some shit at the end of this. Like, All right, guys, we'll see right, what well, we'll see what's we behind this we'll door see. in the next episode. Oh, it's the final boss. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kicking you in the face. It's okay. Complete all levels in co-op. Well, there you go. Oh, this is the challenge. So, there you go. I think, uh, well, watch that chandelier. Ow. You kicked me in the face. How could you do that? What kind of friend <laughs> kicks another friend in the face? The same kind of friend who got knives thrown at them the entire last level by their oh, friend. Oh, right. <laughs> This curtain. It all makes sense. We may never know because these let's guys. Let's find out after I'm this. Getting, song, I'm, let's make a deal. I'm, I'm, I'm getting gang banged over here, so I don't it's have. It's because clue. you're trying to spam them off the map, and then you just got overwhelmed. True. Oh. I. <laughs> you know, there's I just a. Know what's back. Well, never mind. I was gonna say something, and then I forgot. I knew. I forgot. I had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but then I forgot. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wanted to throw this, throw a, a like a like a bit out there. Okay. And then, well, no, I, I I mean like another like a, a comedian's bit. Like I had, a, I had a comedian who said this on stage yeah. once. It was relevant to what we were saying oh, at okay. the time, but I I realized that I don't know this bit like at all, and I, it's not gonna be relevant. <laughs> oh, that's slightest. an elevator. It is an elevator. That was a curtain. Oh. Huh. I just You're right. I would have loved if it was like, like if it was let's make a deal. It's like it's a car. <laughs> so I'll take what's behind cart number two. It's a donkey with an apple cart. It's like, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> That's how that show works. I saw someone won a like caveman themed golf cart on there once, and I was like, I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> like the Flintstones mobile or something. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> Does that car have a name, have... by the way, besides the Flintstone mobile? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Did you just try and keep me on my side? <laughs> yeah! I'm just gonna let you come over here and fuck with me. Oh shit. This is looking awfully final as, as far as fights go. It sounds go. like it too. Yeah. This is the most final music I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. This is the most final fight out of all the final fights. So is this character's name Poison in Street Fighter as well? Yes. So she's the only one that kept the name? Um, I believe so. Um, actually, both Guy and Cody, the other two selectable characters besides Hagar, yeah. are Street Fighter characters. All Hagar got was Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> he sure did. He sure did. Woo! Get him. Get him. Good! Which, which is weird, because of all of the selectable characters, of all three, yeah, he's the most, like, a Street Fighter character. He's the most distinguishable, yeah. So... Because Guy just looks like a Ryu ripoff. More or less, yeah. And, and Cody is like... Was, he's got a prison outfit in Street Fighter. I don't know why. I'm not entirely sure Who what Guy his... Guy does? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what his... Oh, Cody does, no. Oh. I'm not entirely sure what his story is. I was saying, maybe that settles it that we are bad guys. Hey, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm the, I'm the fucking mayor. I would I would be the that one who probably put corrupt. you in, in prison. Mayors don't... I don't know if you know what mayors are responsible for. Like. Well, I mean, I could... I could, like, keep you out of prison, probably. Sure. I've got influence. But what if you're, like, a corrupt mayor? Well, that's true. Well, probably. I mean, I'm I'm lariating fucking guys. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I want this chicken. I need this chicken more than you. You got it. Oh, I'm dead. You can have it. <laughs> I no longer need this chicken, for <laughs> I have died. Dude, those fire guys suck. Sure do. Uh, bah! 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 Like a siren. <laughs> so I don't know if it's the fact that uh, I had very little, little editing to do over the last couple weeks, because... Oh, I did the lariat! How did I do that? Anyway, I don't know if it's because uh, we haven't been recording the last couple weeks. Yeah. Um, just because things haven't happened or whatever. Um, and that I, that means that I had no extra editing to do. Yeah. But I kind of want to get back into making YouTube channels on my channel again. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Like I have ideas for stuff. They would. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> there wasn't even that any was enemies me. around. Um, it wouldn't be necessarily a how to play, as much as it would be, like and uh, like a practically a straight up Jontron video. Oh yeah. Uh, in that style. But I I, I actually have like 
games that I want to talk about and shit. Is, like isn't that. it funny that we associate that? Like, I would have said John Tron style as well, too. Well, it is. It, I mean, it's what I model after, for but, sure, for how to play and stuff. But, uh... I, like, ju it just hit me. Afe GN was, like, the first John Tron. Yeah, he really was. Oh, John Tron has influence from... From him, oh, absolutely. Sure. Ab yeah, definitely. It's just Watch more, the chandelier. It's more like comedy driven. Yeah, I was trying to jump through it. But there's actual like there's a there's a, a ra I I love rail shooters. They are some of my favorite kind of games. And there's one I think it's called Zombie Raid, or something like that. And it's a fucking terrible, terrible rail shooter, uh, oh, in yeah. almost every way, shape, and form. But it's also like comically ridiculous yeah. in some aspects. I could easily do a JonTron slash uh, Aaron Hansen uh, sequelitis yeah. kind of analysis of this game is fucking stupid and here's the specifics as to why as compared to another really good game. <laughs> like, I want to pair it up with House of the Dead, which is one of my... Stop punching me! I There's always no forget... one here! <laughs> I always forget you're not a bad guy! You look so bad. <laughs> but House of the Dead is one of my favorite like yeah, games, House period. So I want to I want to take this zombie raid game and say this is why this game is terrible because I'm going to compare it to House of the Dead. Oh, whoops, I want this knife. We both want that knife. Sorry, you can't have knife. <laughs> uh, I want to compare it to Zombie Raid and say this is why Zombie Raid is bullshit. And it's a stupid, stupid game, and House of the Dead is good. House of the Dead does a lot of good shit right. Yeah. Name, I'll tell you the one thing it does right above everything else. Uh, it has like a cooldown on getting hit. Oh, yeah. Like when you get hit, everybody backs off for a second, and yeah. you have like a chance to be like, "Well, that was kind of that that kind of sucked." So from now on, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be a little more careful and watch out for that a little more. Um, Zombie raid doesn't give a shit. Uh, multiple enemies can be coming at you at one time, and they will all hit you. That's uh, there is insane. absolutely no cooldown whatsoever. Plus, your life bar isn't like, uh, like House of the Dead has the torches. When you get hit, you lose one torch. Yeah. Uh, Zombie Raid has a bar, uh, and when you get hit, you lose a percentage of that bar. But it's a fucking bar, so you can't discern like any information about how much life you have left or how many more mistakes you can make. Yeah, that's insane. No, it's stupid. Yeah, like, like no good rail shooter has bar life. Bars. No, it does not. And it's a, it's a ridiculous game though, but it's pretty cool. That's awesome. I, I really want to do a video on it, and I also want to do a video on the Punisher game that I talked about before. Yeah, that, that game sounds good. It's not. It's. I like the Punisher. I mean, it's as as far as the. Uh, beat em up style goes in a game like this yeah. it's absolutely subpar really it's it's not tremendous and it being the punisher doesn't improve it enough to justify i mean whatever it being like you know like sometimes i like a bad game because if i like the characters in it or whatever you know yeah what I mean? so i mean sure but I, like it only has like one actual like Marvel character in it, as far as what? I'm aware, outside of the Punisher. And I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Kingpin's the final boss. Yeah. Uh, because he's the only person that you associate the Punisher with, basically, in terms of villains. But he's like everyone else is just like super '90s. We need a to make like a semi-boss character kind of <laughs> thing. Let's get a big guy with tattoos. Uh, <laughs> let's get a guy on like a motorized wheelchair that's loaded with guns and shit. Oh, yeah, for um, sure. Evil Stephen Hawking. It's so, yeah. It's so basic, it's ridiculous. And it's terrible. And again, like I said, in this game, you punch people until they blink and disappear. Oh, speaking of a motorized wheelchair with guns and shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, and then he gets up. <laughs> what a fraud. Yeah. And, and, like I said, and like I said with the... Um, I don't know. Uh, Belzer. Belger. Uh, but like I said with the... Arrow. With... You know, this game, they blink and they disappear when you kill them. Um, in the Punisher game, uh, some enemies you just straight up kill. Like, I think you can get, like, a flamethrower or something like that, and they just really? torch and burn. It's like, god damn it. This I is mean, absurd. That, that makes sense for a Punisher game. It does, like, but... No one, no one wants a Punisher... It would be like having a non-violent Punisher movie. 
Uh, right. Like, yeah. You can't. You, yeah. You couldn't. You couldn't pull that off. It's just. Does it's, he have a nail gun? Is that? What I don't know. I think he's like shooting. Crossbow? It feels like Nerf darts. Well, because he keeps like shooting them up in the air and then they just fall. Yeah. And do damage. Yeah. This game is this. This is the worst boss fight yet. It's, it's obnoxious too. Can I? Is this girl dead? Um. Maybe. Oh. I oh. Nice. I punched him backwards. Oh, achievements! Nice. I didn't think about there being Point achievements in this. Blur. Round six, we win. clear. He's the final boss. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. It. Oh, father, I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so, so glad. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> no, yeah. I was gonna make some voice stuff. No, let's go. Go ahead. Uh, oh, I got the Haggard achievement. Yeah. I'm nice. so glad to see they didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry, Jessica. I thought I'd lost you like I lost your mother, plot, 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 plot. I'll never let anything bad happen to you again until Final Fight 2. I love you, father. <laughs> and these guys are just like, oh, and we're out. I'm Peace. Go jerk off. That's the end. <laughs> I'm going to go jerk off behind my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That game was shorter than I kind of thought. Only six stages? Yeah. Also, this last episode could have totally been two episodes. Yeah, it definitely could have. <laughs> that was a long final level. That is a very... That was definitely, like, two levels. Yeah, definitely. You could so, chance Papa. <laughs> That's who it was... Who the thanks were for special I saw sounds. that at the last second. You could chance Papa. <laughs> it's a weird thing to have in credits, isn't it? I mean, you gotta say something nice. Wait! Cody! <laughs> what the fuck? What was that about? What just happened? Yeah, what? They're just. Why did he punch why you? Why did Guy beat up Cody? Where are you going? How can you just walk away now? Did you say, who are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay here with you, Jessica. Plus, my face but, hurts a lot. But I can't, because Guy's a prick. <laughs> Not while evil still walks the streets. Oh, Cody. There it is, the little foot lift. <laughs> Why did Guy... I, I don't know. The great question. I'm to put her this. name. Whoops. All right. Can we not put our names in? Is Apparently, that a thing where it's just not. like, no, go fuck yourself. Autosave progress will be... Sure. Game over. Nice. Well, there you go. That's we did it. that's how Metro you, City. That's well, how you final the fight. For the final fight, fight. The final fight. Have you seen Jessica? Because I haven't. We might have to play some Magic Sword. Yeah, let's do it. It looks intriguing, and I have no fucking clue what this is. Next time, Next. you've seriously never played this. We're gonna magic the swords or something. Final fight. <laughs>